Ooh, how is your language learning motivation right now? Are you feeling a little... That was my impression of that little noise. But it didn't really come out very well. Anyway, if you're feeling a severe or even slight lack of motivation when it comes to language learning right now, fear not. There's one thing that will save you, and that is to find something you love. Mm-hmm. That's it. Now, this may sound ridiculously simple. I feel like I'm saying that a lot lately with these tips videos, but it's kind of crucial because if, if you are learning a language and there's no reason, there's no kind of fuel for that fire, there's no passion there, then it's just going to fizzle out, right? But if you're learning a language and you have a thing that you love that is in that language, then that's really going to help to keep your motivation high. Now, there's a lot of things that this could be. It could be music, film, an author. It could be something to do with the actual place, a country that speaks that language, the culture, dancing, whatever it is, you know, it's going to need to be there for you to keep going. I want to give you a few examples. So languages that I've learnt well um, and that I've had a strong, you know, even if I haven't learned them to a high level, I've had a strong desire to keep learning. I'm going to talk about Spanish, I'm going to talk about Japanese, I'm also going to talk about um, Dutch as an example of one where I haven't found something I love. So with Spanish what happened is this was kind of the other way around. So I found something I loved and then I wanted to learn Spanish. It could be that way around for you and if it is, you're probably okay and you probably don't need to watch this video. But anyway, what it was was Shakira. So I listened to Shakira's album Laundry Service, there were a few songs on there in Spanish and I wanted to translate them. I then got the album Donde Están Los Las Lodrones and I got a little tiny Spanish like gem dictionary and I would sit and like try and go through the lyrics booklet bad idea you're never gonna learn Spanish that way like Shakira lyrics poof, not a good place to start but what it did give me was a passion for the language and a reason to keep going because it was so difficult and because it was something that I actually enjoyed similar thing happened with Japanese so I was really kind of intrigued by just Japanese culture in general I was never like a huge sort of like manga fan or anime fan or anything like that but I always found it kind of curious and the writing system I think in particular because it was or because it is I should say so kind of complex I found that really curious and that was a reason to keep going because you've got this seemingly endless list of kanji that you can just keep learning that you're never going to get bored of you're never going to think you know well maybe you'll get bored of them someday I don't know but you're, you know you've got something that you can just keep going with and that you can keep kind of learning more and more and more. However, with languages such as Dutch, I'm going to use that as my example here, I didn't find something that I loved. I learned Dutch because, kind of on a whim, because I found um, a Dutch book in the library, I was learning German at the time, and I was curious to see how similar the languages were, and if, you know, Dutch was this kind of bridge language, if you like, between English and German. Spoiler alert, I think it is, here's my reason to learn Dutch. And although I didn't learn Dutch for very long, primarily because I was learning a lot of languages at that particular point in time, four to be exact, I never really found something that I loved in a language and so that's why it never ended up going taking any further. So how can you do this? Well, there are many, many ways and it really depends on what you're looking for. You know, if you know already that in your kind of native language you love film, then you probably want to start with film. If you know that you love music, you might want to start looking there. So, you know, the tools that you use already to find new film or to find new music that's where you want to be focused. So let's say music. I think this is one of the easiest ones and one of the probably more common ones that people have, you know, when they have a thing that they really, really love. So what I would recommend is using a site such as um, Spotify or Music Roma and checking out related artists. So all you need here is just one, okay? And if you're really stuck for that first one, you could try asking over in Facebook groups or you could try even on Spotify. What you can do is when you search the charts, you can search by country. So if there's a country there that's listed with the charts that speaks your language, take a little look at that list. Chances are there's going to be a lot of English music. Thank you, world. But there may or may not be a couple of examples of songs in your target language. So check those out. If you like them, all you need to do, click through, check the related artists, boom, you've got this whole like 
rabbit warren of, uh, of artists that you can check out in the, that are singing in the language you're learning. Alternatively, you could use a site like Music Roma to type in that one name and then kind of go further. Again, if you're stuck for that one name and you're not using Spotify, you could simply try typing into Google, um, you know, music in Spanish, for example. You'll probably get a list. There's normally like a Wikipedia page of, you know, musicians from X country or whatever, and you can scroll down that list. Sometimes it's ordered by genre. You can then think, oh, I like this genre of music. Let's just try this one random person, take a listen. I like it, I don't like it. You know and then go from there now of course i do understand that that alone will not be enough finding an artist that sings in the language you're learning will not make you fluent in a week but what it will do is it will help to keep your motivation up to use other resources methods and tools etc to actually keep learning the language because you've got a reason you've got a purpose you've got that thing that you love so I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments below what is the thing that you love in the language you're learning. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for regular language learning videos. I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.